The Messelson and Stahl experiment provides evidence for semi-conservative replication of the DNA molecule, where the two parent strands serve as the template for synthesis of new strands. In this experiment, bacterial cells were grown for several generations on a medium containing a heavy isotope of nitrogen, N15. The DNA in these cells therefore contained heavy N15 nitrogen. The cells were then transferred to a new medium containing the normal lighter isotope, N14. At various times after the transfer, samples of the bacteria were collected. The DNA was then extracted and dissolved in a solution of cesium chloride. The samples were then spun rapidly in a centrifuge. When the cesium chloride is centrifuged at high speed, a concentration gradient is established in the tube. DNA molecules move in the gradient until they reach a place where their density equals that of the cesium. DNA containing N14 moved to a position in the gradient determined by its density. DNA containing N15 is denser than that containing N14, so it sank to a lower position in the cesium gradient. After one generation in N14 medium, the bacteria yielded a single band of DNA with a density between that of N14 DNA and N15 DNA, indicating that only one strand of each duplex contained N15. After two generations in N14 medium, two bands were obtained, one of intermediate density, in which one of the strands contained N15, and one of low density, in which neither strand contained N15. Messelson and Stahl concluded that replication of the DNA duplex involves building new molecules by separating parent strands and then adding new nucleotides to form the complementary strand on each of these templates. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like the video.